Hi class, this is Dr. Overstreet and uh, what I would like to do is to go through some of the information on the project that you're working on this week, which is part one of Milestone 2. So here are some suggestions to help you be successful in this assignment. This assignment is designed to help you begin to use sociology as a way to understand the social problem you've selected in your project. And I'd like to emphasize that this is a sociological rather than psychological or biological study of the problem. Please allow me to read the opening paragraph of this assignment to provide you with the context for the assignment. The field of sociology rep uh, represents a unique perspective to viewing the world's social problems. Social problems tend to be viewed solely as individual constructs and responsibilities. But sociologists take a deeper dive into the complex set of variables driving the development of these problems using various theoretical perspectives. As these problems surface in individual lives, the workplace, and communities, a sociological perspective is valuable for providing a framework for deeper investigation of variables and limiting personal biases when analyzing problems. So, be sure that you're seeking credible, not .com, sources as you conduct your research on this topic. I encourage you to begin by using the resources found in your textbook. Now, if you're having trouble accessing your textbook, please contact the appropriate sources to get that working. This assignment should be organized and submitted in the outline format that you see here. Simply follow the outline provided in the assignment guidelines. This helps to ensure that each element is addressed and is easy to see and assess. The entire outline should be limited to one to two pages double-spaced, 12-point font using Times New Roman, with sources cited in text and referenced using APA formatting. Your reference page does not count in your one to two page limit. So what I have done is I'm going to show you an outline that tells you exactly what you need to do here are these guidelines again, but uh, exactly what you should do in your outline so that you will have proficient scores on each of these. I am following the uh, proficiency column here and addressing each one of these elements, and that is how I have structured this outline. So that's really what I would like for you to use to be successful. Okay, so here is the outline that I would like for you to follow. So your paper should look like this. You simply begin with Roman numeral two. You're gonna to wanna to, uh, double space. This, this is double space, although it doesn't really look like it. But in the first section, uh, Roman numeral two, you provide specific information about your research on this issue. So for A, I want you to simply have A, variables and determinants. Now what you're gonna do is list these variables and determinants and cite any sources. Do not use quotes. Provide a brief list of the variables that you have found to influence the problem and a brief explanation of how they influence this problem. Be sure to include your sources. B, local and global influence. Explain if these variables and determinants differ in how they affect the problem locally and globally. Support this with your research resources. C, attempted solutions that have failed. Here, explain attempts to solve this problem that have failed and support this with research evidence. D, attempted solutions that have been successful. Here, explain the best practices that you found in solving this problem and support this with research evidence. 
Section 3, Roman numeral 3, is entitled Approach. And in this section, you are exploring, are exploring excuse me, your biases, where they come from, and how theory will help you keep these in check. So Roman numeral A will be cultural biases. How do people tend to talk about this social problem? What stereotypes have you heard about this problem and those involved? Support this information with resources. B, personal biases. What are your biases and preconceived ideas about this social problem? C, theoretical application. How will you use sociological theory to limit your biases? Provide at least one specific example. I would suggest a specific theory and how you're going to use it to um, limit your biases. Then, as always, before you submit, be sure to proofread and correct any errors in your in-text citations, references, spelling, grammar, sentence structure, and organization. I wish you all uh, complete success in this important part of our milestone. Please contact me to assist you if you have any questions. Thanks.